Internet quoting from Texas Mutual offers quick and easy quoting and enables you to provide excellent service to your clients. In this short video, we'll explore IQ and talk about recent upgrades to the system. To get started, log in to TexasMutual.com. If you haven't yet created your online account, click Agent Account and fill out the application, or contact our Information Services Center. After logging in, you'll see an updated Agent Gateway. To start using IQ, you can hover over Internet Quoting and click Begin New Application or Upload Application. You may also click Internet Quoting directly to view all your quotes. Your account list will show all quotes. You can select the filters to sort by new business or renewals. Within the list, you can sort by status, quote or application number, effective date, or name. Each quote has a status associated with it. Application means that it hasn't been submitted. In review reflects that our underwriters are currently reviewing the application. Quoted means a quote has been provided. Not taken represents that Texas Mutual offered a quote, but the applicant did not purchase the coverage. To take action on an existing quote or application, you can hover over the number to view, pay, requote, and attach a file or send a message to the underwriter. Let's start a new application. You can begin your new application with a rate check by entering the class code or entering the description and choosing the class code from the drop-down list. Enter the estimated annual payroll and then choose whether or not longshore coverage is needed. You'll be provided with an estimated premium based on that information. If you have additional class codes, add the next code. If you use rate check, the classifications added in this field will pre-fill in the exposures page of the application. Enter your client's federal identification number to see if there is an active quote for it. This verifies that the account has not been submitted by another agent. Click continue to start the application. The applicant main form requires the same information as what's requested on the Accord 130. It's important to note that the way you enter information here is how it will appear on the quote. So if you'd like it to be capitalized or if you prefer mixed case, enter the information in that way. The formatting cannot be changed online after the quote has been issued. If you need to add additional DBAs or named insureds, you can do so here. Enter your client's business address and information here. Next, enter a keyword for the description of operations or the NAI CS or SIC. Next, you'll provide the policy information and enter a brief but specific description of the business and the nature of operations. If for some reason the underwriter must review the application, this information is very helpful and may facilitate a quicker turnaround on the quote. Hover here for more information. If there's an experience modifier, you'll need to provide additional information found on the EMOD worksheet. Next. Enter your client's contact information, then answer the questions about their business. You'll notice new questions about the applicant's wellness and return to work programs. Some questions are required, and if you proceed past this page without answering them, you'll be prompted to complete before continuing. Finally, you'll enter your agency information. These fields auto-populate based on your account, but you can change the information if needed. To move to the next page, click Save and Continue. You can also click Save to return to the application later, or Exit if you don't want to save the application. Keep in mind that a saved application does not prevent another agent from obtaining a quote. The account must be submitted to recognize that the FEIN is not available. Let's continue. Next, you'll find the Locations page. Click Copy Mailing Address if the main location is the only location and is also a physical address. Use the Add Another Location button if the mailing address is different from the location or there is more than one location. Then click Save and Continue. In the Exposures section, first enter the number of employees here. Next, review the information provided during the rate check and make any corrections needed. Enter the class codes by number or by typing the description and choosing from the drop-down menu. Notice that subcodes are no longer requested. Some classifications have companion class codes, 
which will automatically populate. This is also where you choose whether or not longshore coverage should be added to an exposure. Click Save and Continue. On this page, you can note owners and officers that would like to be excluded or included. The information icons will provide more info on eligibility. Provide the owner or officer's name, then select Included or Excluded by moving the toggle. Provide a title by making a selection from the drop-down menu. Note the percentage of ownership and the owner or officer's duties. If the owner or officer is electing to be included for coverage, you will also be required to select the applicable classification from the class code drop-down menu. Be sure to complete the section below to identify the total included officers by classification. If the entity type is an association or a professional association, you can elect to exclude all board members or all executive officers. Click Save and Continue. Next, you'll enter the loss information. Because this account has been in business two years, you'll need to provide two years of information regardless of whether or not they carried coverage. The carrier field will bring up a search tool once a few characters of the prior carrier's name are entered. Use the No Coverage and No Losses checkboxes as appropriate. Enter the number of claims and amount paid sections as needed. You do not need to differentiate medical-only losses from other losses. It should all be captured in the Total Paid field. If the client has multiple years in business with no coverage, you'll still need to provide information on any lost time claims. Use the Optional Coverages page to add waivers of subrogation or a notice of material change if needed. You can choose Blanket or Specific. Although Longshore coverage was previously found on this page, it is now only added on the Exposures page. Here, you'll have a chance to review your application. You can edit or click Request Quote. Before submitting your application, let us know if there is a date you'll need the application by and we will try to fulfill that request. To submit, choose I Agree at the bottom of the page. Clicking Exit will save your submission for later. Clicking I Disagree will return you back to the application page to edit and update the application if needed. At this point, the application is almost complete. If there is information about the account that is important for the underwriter to consider, please include that information here. Clicking Yes will route the submission to the underwriter and assure that they see your notes. If you don't have any important notes, click No. Click Save and Continue. Oftentimes, a quote will generate immediately. If not, you will receive a note that your application has been submitted to underwriting for review. On the Online Quote Review page, you can view the applicant quote and commission letter, access a PDF of the application, attach a message or file to the underwriter, requote, or pay for the quote. Now, let's go back to the account list and discuss requotes. Here, a V1 on the end of the quote number indicates that this is the first version of the quote, with V2 being the second version, meaning it's been requoted, and so on. By hovering over the quote number, you can choose to requote. In your requote application, you can change certain criteria, but if you need to adjust the named insured, DBA, FEIN, EMOD, or loss information, send a message to the underwriter with those changes rather than changing it in the application. Applications in not taken status will not be eligible for automatic requote, but you can open the application and send a message to the underwriter requesting a requote. The application will then be requoted, but with a new number. Also note that accounts with a mailing address outside the U.S., deductible policies, start policies, PEO accounts, and clients of PEOs are not eligible for online quoting. If you have any questions, please contact your underwriter or call our Information Services Center. Thank you for partnering with Texas Mutual. Work safe, Texas.